it in its natural state but today I want to show you how to create this texture so we're going to do the texture all the way around the lid you take the bud bit and you don't use real high pressure you kind of lay it on its side lay it on its side sort of not a whole lot of pressure just enough to get through just enough to get through that skin there farther you go down in there, the softer it gets. So you want to be real careful not to, to use too much pressure. The tungsten carbide bits take a lot of uh, material off very quickly, so you got to be real careful.
so there we go. We got the got all the texture in there. We did the scalloped edges on the sides all the way around. I've cleaned the inner stuff off of there. We're gonna take some white gesso now and we're gonna seal this. You can use Josania's wood sealer or any type of wood sealer, but always seal your gourd before you paint it if you've taken that hard shell off. Otherwise, it's just gonna soak in there and it's not gonna be a good deal. So I'm just gonna apply the gesso to this little lid with it. I just got a small sponge brush. We're just gonna put that all, all on there. Take your gesso, acrylic gesso, or a wood sealer, whatever you want to use, and seal it up real good before you paint it. And then after I get through painting it, I uh, make sure that I seal it again and make it nice and shiny. You can do a matte finish, or you can make it look like a shiny porcelain, whichever way you want to go. I like to use this uh, the little sponges because you can really get it down in there in that soft tissue. And yes, you want to be sure you seal the inside here too. We want to seal all of it. So I'll go around there and seal that as well. So when I get this all done, I will be back. I'm going to do both sides. Both sides are gessoed and dried. Look how nice and lacy it is around the edges. And then you're gonna see how it looks on top of the bowl, how it just fits right down up in there. See there, it fits just like a puzzle. It's really nice how that does that. So we can either use this with the lid off or with the lid on, depending on how you wanna light it up or what you wanna use it for. So I've got it all gessoed now and ready to paint. So tune in on the next video and we'll do the color. We'll put some beautiful colors on it, finish it up, and put a light in it. Thanks for stopping in. Please like and subscribe and come back and see me.